<laughs> it has been such a long time since I have done a plan with me video I just haven't been in love with it I'm sure I'm not the only one 2020 was shit um, all things considered though mine wasn't that bad like I know that I broke up with my partner of five years and that I moved down to Melbourne but I've come up to Aubrey again I've got this really really amazing job I love where I live me and my dog are really happy I've got great friends I'm still really good friends with my ex like although it's been a pretty shit year I'm pretty happy with how it ended and you know on to bigger and better things for 2021 um, the reason why I used this kit from Planet Goddess Studio is because I hosted a Hawaiian shirt themed New Year's Eve party and so I thought this kit was perfect. I am planning in an Erin Condren colourful vertical. Um, I got it off uh, like the D-Statch page um, because it was cheaper than buying it from Erin Condren herself. Oh my god. These date covers were driving me fucking nuts. They weren't cut properly, and so I had to use my tweezers, and I know that I harp on about um, Stella Bo Sticky Co being hit and miss, so it's my own bloody fault. But next time I'm going to exacto knife them and get them out because the cut lines aren't deep enough. The other stuff that I had from her, the other foil that I used from her was fine, it was just the dates, and so it, took up some of the hollow um, foiling which was a bit sad um, anyway the vacay mode were from Monique plans and that was so perfect because it's still kind of holiday times I go back to work on the 4th which I needed a holiday for my holiday I went down to Melbourne for Christmas and I was there for five days and it was so intense like there was no time that I had to myself I was always doing something I was always spending time with friends or family and whatnot. Um, yeah, I hope everyone had a safe and happy Christmas and happy New Year. You know, they always say, you know, I'm going to make 2020, I'm going to make 2021 my year or whatever. But I am really wanting to put some awesome things in place. I'm going to go back to the gym. I'm going to not drink alcohol for the whole year. That's going to be a fucking challenge, but I'm going to try and not drink alcohol for the whole year. I'm going to try and walk my dog every day, like just little, well the alcohol is a big change. But the big, hopefully these changes will make me a lot happier with not only um, myself, but happier to be around other people as well. Like we had a really nice time for the New Year's party. But like from my perspective, I was fine. And then when someone else has you know, recounted their um, memories of the event, like it wasn't as good. So that's something that I do want to, to work on. Plus, you know, if I'm really wanting to eat really well and ex exercise regularly, alcohol is just gonna take you backwards. So that is the two main reasons why I'm not drinking. Also, it's going to be a challenge, so I'm, I'm all for having a challenge. I have just realised there is some sound in the background. I'm not really sure why the audio is a bit funny, so I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, let's get stuck into this kit. So, Monday I was still in Melbourne. Um, I was driving back that day, so I had a bit of a sleep in, washed my hair. I do change that around. Um, and I have that wash hair on the Sunday and then I put a hollow script next to the sticker thief girl washing her hair just to, to bring in more hollow. Um, and then I just packed up my stuff. I was staying at mum's and then I drove to Hawthorne where my mate Tane lives and we had Korean fried chicken, which I hadn't had before. It was pretty much just really, really, really delicious KFC. Like KFC is pretty good, um, but the Korean fried chicken was even better. We took Storm for a walk around Hawthorne and that was really nice here, it had kind of this off-leash area. I couldn't let him off though because it wasn't completely uh, fenced off. Storm doesn't have good recall so I can't let him off. Um, and then I really love these flat lays for driving. So I drove from Hawthorne back to my place which took three and a half hours. Storm was so good in the car. Um, I bought myself a 
brand new Kia Cerato in runaway red and I'm absolutely in love with it. It has, I've had it for a bit over a month now and it's done almost four and a half thousand Ks. Like I'm just flogging it because of work. Um, so if you guys know Aubrey Wodonga region at all, I live in East Aubrey and I drive to and from Tokemo or Mawela once a week for work. Hopefully January, February, we will get a work car, which I'm really excited about, so I won't need to use my car as often, but I'm just really glad that I've got something really reliable and I'm salary sacrificing it, so I'm getting like fuel cards and stuff too, so that's, that's easy. So I got back to Aubrey, um, I don't remember, like 5, 30, 6 o'clock, I got menu log, I put on a load of darks because I had a lot of washing, and then I think I went round to my friend's place a bit later, but I didn't I didn't put that in the planner just because I'd filled up that day. On the Tuesday, I decided to wash some white clothes, so I did another load of laundry, and then I walked Storm into town, because um, I only live 10 minutes walk from the main strip in Aubrey and I really wanted to go to JB Hi-Fi so I went to JB Hi-Fi and I bought myself a new Garmin watch so I'm super super stoked with that um, I haven't had like a proper running watch in quite a long time um, well running slash active watch and this is great because it syncs up with my fitness pal and I'm really hoping that it'll make me motivated to eat better and to you know incorporate those healthy habits if you guys watched my channel like last year you'll know that I <laughs> tried to do the same kind of thing last year um, and I'm just I'm sick of yo-yoing I'm sick of being like on the journey to get fit I want to just I want to get to that destination and I think me living on my own and only have myself to be accountable and you know I'm putting everything in place that hopefully I can get to get to that spot and even if I don't get you know to a specific size I just want to be really happy in myself too and so I know that I'm at my happiest when I'm exercising and when I'm eating well and you know having a little bit of a cheat meal here and there but you know it's always it always feels better when you know you only have one cheat meal rather than if you cheat all the time you feel crap anyway so yeah went into Aubrey and bought myself a Gar Garmin Forerunner 425 or something I really like it it's teal and black and it's really pretty um, and then played some games with my friends which was really great I did miss playing games with them and then I chilled in front of the TV I got my I don't have a smart TV but I've got a Chromecast so that's fine and then I had Dirty Bird so speaking of cheat meal that is always a good go-to um, and just watch Netflix and chill around on the Wednesday, I walk Storm. That is a customized Storm from Sticker Thief. Maya made my dog in sticker form. It is awesome. Um, and then I just had some chill time and had a nap. And then that night we saw Wonder Woman 1984 and had Zambies, which was delicious. Uh, New Year's Eve, I had to clean the shit out of my house. It was so dirty. Um, and I mopped the floors and I vacuumed and I did all that and then of course I needed a nap <laughs> um, and then I got ready for the New Year's Eve party and had a really really good time I hosted until about 10.30 and then most peop some people left we had then about 10 of us two people were driving so we're like let's divvy up into two groups of five and drive to another friend's New Year's Eve party and that was really really fun we had a really great night um, and I wasn't too hungover for um, the Friday. I was really surprised. I must have just paced myself or drank water or I don't know. So yeah, welcome to 2021. I did have a bit of a sleep in and then I went over to Dylan's to play board games with our mates that were coming down from Leeton. It's a really small country town that's about two and a half hours from where I live. Um, and then Dylan and I walked the dogs around the West Strawberry Wetlands, which was beautiful. I don't live near there anymore. It's like a 10 minute drive to Dylan's place, so it's not too bad. But yeah, it was nice to walk around there. And then Dylan came back to my place and our friend Tani came over and we played a new expansion for Catan and that was really fun. It was an interesting version that had different um, scenarios and stuff. I really, really enjoyed that. And we had Noodle Box 
which was delicious. Um, Saturday, I did a grocery shop at Aldi, and then I had a planning sesh with my new friend Naomi. Shout out to Naomi, I really hope that you enjoy the rabbit hole that is planning. I am such a, I'm, I'm so grateful that we had that day together where we were able to plan and I was able to kind of impart wisdom of planning onto you and you just gave me my planner mojo back. It was just really nice to have a friend that I could you know, bring into this community. Um, and then we watched, I went to a Sam and Tani's place and we watched Drag Race. We then played some board games and then I came home and walked Storm and planned even more. Now cut to today where I had a bit of a sleep in. I walked Storm. I was going to walk him into town but I was stopped by my friend Tom who has a beautiful Hungarian Vizsla and we're like, hey, let's go to the dog park. So we did and that was really, really fun. It was nice chatting to him because he's more of a friend of a friend but now that he lives close to me, hopefully I can hang out with him a bit more. I came back because I'd been walking for about 45 minutes and I'm like, I am stinky as shit. I need a shower and I needed to wash my hair. Oh, I have a perm. That's why my hair's curly. I paid money to put curls in my hair and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I got a perm. I then spent most of today shopping. I went to Kmart and TK Maxx and Kathmandu and I had a really, really nice time spending money that I probably shouldn't, but it... it I I'm, I'm, had a really fun time and I also had bubble tea. We've got a new bubble tea place in Albury, so I'm very happy about that. And now cut to kind of now-ish where I've just finished off the rest of the, the day. As you can see, I've got a different scrunchie in. So I was planning on Sunday as well as Saturday and I plan on binge watching the rest of Bump, which is on Stan. It's an Aussie show about a year 11 girl that gets pregnant and she doesn't know about it and then I plan on having an early night like I start back at work tomorrow so I don't really want to go to bed late um, and I wanted to write in this box fuck off 2020 <laughs> here is the rest of the kit I didn't use all of the quarter boxes where I should have there was only two left but I yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this spread my first spread of 2021 and I've got my planner mojo back Alright, thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, catch ya!